Hello everybody and welcome back to Camp Bunny. In the last part we met a whole bunch of new characters, we had some sex scenes, I thought it was a fairly important video. <laughs> for the LP anyways. Hmm. The permits are prepared for Yoshinori tomorrow. So, by the way, with this LP, I've been really recording ahead of when videos go up, so I really don't say, for instance, I won't read the comments for part 16 until maybe I'm recording part 20 or whatever. It, it, it's that kind of pattern. So, but I will, I will, don't worry, I will get back to you. I'll make a mention of it. I always read the comments. Don't ever think I don't. I always read them. Even the random ones where uh, someone the other day left a comment being like, my parents would kill me if they found me browsing here. I was like, y'all, don't, don't be looking at my shit if it's going to get you in trouble. Jesus. Now for the broken cabins. We seem to have all the supplies we need. Hmm. All reports have been updated too. It looks like the last thing on this checklist is to try and look for volunteers to help with the fundraising. Come in. Hmm, come in. You know, I'm... Uh, part of me isn't crazy about these scenes that aren't focusing on Kedro and Taiga, but I kind of like... Um, Goro getting some spotlight, if I'm being honest, just because I felt he was easily one of the flattest characters early on, and uh, this has already kind of made him seem just more than that. Hello. Hello, sir. Felix. Oh, Felix, correct. What can I do for you? I'm sorry. Sorry for bothering you so late in the evening, but I wanted to ask about something. Huh? What is it? Well... It's about this whole fundraiser, sir. I've been trying to find a way to help, but I just can't seem to figure out where I would be useful. Not only that, but I don't really understand the purpose of it. Let's see. Hmm. Haven't the Scoutmasters explained everything? We're attempting to raise awareness as well as funds for the camp. Actually? I do understand the part about gathering more recruits, but in regards to the money, doesn't the camp have investors who could clear up the situation? Well... At the moment, we don't, but we are trying to find one. I actually spoke with the city mayor today about a sponsorship, but there's no guarantee it'll get approved. For now, the current activities and promotions will help us keep afloat until I can find a sponsor. So what you're saying is, if you found an investor, the camp wouldn't be in trouble anymore, right? Yes. That's a huge part of it, yes. Thanks. I see. Thank you for explaining it to me, sir. I think I have a better grasp of the situation now. Excellent. Of course. I'm glad to hear a scout like you taking interest with the welfare of the camp. Do you need anything else? Bye. That would be all, sir. Sorry again for bothering you. Good night. <laughs> what an interesting boy. Now where was I? Ah, yes, the reports. Let's see. Hmm. Phone call this late. What could it be about? Yes. Hello, this is Goro Nomoro with Camp Buddy. Oh? Ah, uh, yes, I remember you. What can I do for you? Is that Kieran calling to get back into the camp? Girl. I see. Oh, I see. Where did you hear about the fundraiser? Okay, maybe I'm jumping the gun on that. Maybe I'm a little paranoid. Uh, <laughs> but that also could have been one of the dudes we met asking to join. It could have been Haruki, uh, the shopkeeper, the delinquent. <laughs> Your timing is impeccable, and it's just what we're looking for. Yes. Yes, you can come by tomorrow. Excellent, we'll see you then. Was that a potential sponsor? Oh, whatever. Whatever, the game will tell me soon enough, I know. I know it will. Tiger! Oh god, what's happening now? Edward! Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to tell him first thing in the morning. Huh? Would you rather it catch him off guard? Taiga! Taiga, wake up, this is important! What the actual fuck? Uh, Edward, why are you yelling so early? Oh my god. I have scalding hot tea. What's going on? What is it now? I swear, if this is about another celebrity couple breaking up. Oh no. N no, that's not it. <laughs> What's going on? I'm not sure. Mm. Edward's having a panic attack for some reason. Well... It, it's not like that. Something's going on outside that, well... Um... Let's just say it's a very peculiar turn of events. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what he said. Let's go! Will you two just tell me what happened? 
Um, um how do we deliver this news in the least appalling manner? Well, Karen is here at camp. Oh no. You know, I will say this, okay? I did not get a bad impression off of Kieran when we met him. And I haven't had any reason personally to say he's a bad guy. I mean, what could have happened between him and Taiga could have been just a, a simmering of tensions, one bad incident gone wrong, who knows. But what kind of puts me on edge is that obviously I'm kind of here for Katero and Taiga as a couple, and Kieran feels like a wrench in that but I don't really have any beef against him personally. He seemed like a nice enough dude. Edward. Edward? Why? What? K Kieran, why? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Well? Edward and I were on our way to our activities when we saw him having a conversation with Scoutmaster Yoshi at the campgrounds. That is true. Yeah, and now they're in the office talking about who knows what. If he rejoins the camp, oh my god, this is gonna be such drama. Taiga. We know this is a sensitive matter for you, Taiga. That's why we wanted you to know it first. Hello? Um, excuse me. Just a minute ago, you were so against telling him. Hmm. This doesn't make sense. I have a theory. If I may contribute a theory, one probable reason he'd be back here is to enroll with Camp Bunny again. But then again, we're over halfway through the term, so the motive of his return could be something else. I know, right? Yeah, it's so weird that he'd show up here out of nowhere. I don't think so. It's not. We met him yesterday after we went grocery shopping with Sir Goro. Oh. Oh. How did that go? Actually... We didn't really talk much. We were in a hurry to get back to camp. To my understanding... Knowing he's an old friend of yours, it's highly likely that he's only here to pay a visit. That's the most feasible purpose I can think of. Um... Uh, are you gonna talk to him? <sighs> I'll get dressed and head to the office. Oh. Uh, oh, mind if I come along with you, Taiga? Okay. Sure. We gotta work on our fundraising activity anyway. Hmm. I don't really have a bad feeling about this. I just don't have a good feeling. <laughs> you get me? All right. Also, it's kind of awkward because I gave Kieran the same voice as Katero. Like Kieran has my voice. Um. So I think it'll. It, that's just how it's gonna be. Okay. They're both gonna have the same voice. I'll just try and make maybe Kieran sound less peppy. Um. Well, by peppy I mean like. Less as enthusiastic as Katero, but they ultimately will sound the same. They're both going to have my voice. So our goal is to raise enough funds to maintain the camp for another term. There are various t activities that I'm sure you can volunteer in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just happy to be back helping. On the other hand... About your uniform. Do you still have it, or do you need us to provide you another one? Oh. Uh oh, I have both my main one and a spare, sir. They're packed in my bags. Very good. Excellent. It's a good thing you brought them. Well... We'll have to ask you to wear it again while in the campgrounds. Of course. Of course, sir. I understand. Anyway... Anyway, moving on to the actual activity. Oh! Ah, Taiga! Katero! Perfect timing. Look who decided to visit us today. It's one of the scouts from last year, Kirin. Y yeah I heard. Taiga! Hey, Taiga! Hmm... What are you doing here, Kieran? Isn't this exciting? Kieran here has volunteered to work with us for the fundraiser. Isn't that great? Why? Well, Mr. Moreno has told us that he ran into you two after our errands yesterday. He was informed of our ongoing fundraising campaign and gave me a call last night to offer his help. So I was right on the ball. My paranoia paid off for once. Furthermore, Conveniently, we are currently lacking manpower to expedite the tasks around here, which is why I didn't hesitate to accept him as a volunteer. Well... It sounded like everyone was really busy, so I thought I could help out. That's right. That's right. Every bit of help goes a long way. It's truly heartwarming to see a past camper come back and help the camp. Y yeah. Right. Furthermore... Also, if I remember correctly, you and Kieran are friends, right, Taiga? Ugh. I saw some of y'all kind of dragging Yoshinori in the comment section, and I kind of had to agree. I still maintain that he he never... he He's not like a malicious person at all. Like, he's a good guy. He just puts his foot in it so much. Unintentionally, and sometimes I feel intentionally. This will be a great opportunity for you to reconnect with an old acquaintance while making memories with all of your new friends. I mean, come on, can you really be that dense and dumb to forget that they had a falling out? Like, surely you knew that. And then you're gonna bring that up, you know, 
full square front and center right now. Also, what the hell is this music? Anyway. Either way, <laughs> we're excited to have you back here, Kirin. We look forward to spending a productive time with you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance to work and enjoy Camp Buddy again, sir. All right. I'll be filing all your volunteer paperwork here, Mr. Moreno, so you don't have to worry about it. It'll be much easier, too, since you're a previous scout. In the meantime, Yoshinori will guide you to where you can help. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Aha! Oh, Taiga and Keiro, you two were on your way here to find an activity today, correct? I have the perfect one for you two that Kieran can join as well. <laughs> it involves a lot of labor, so I hope you boys don't mind that. It should keep you all occupied for the rest of the fundraiser. I'll do my best. Uh, we'd love to help, but what is it, sir? <laughs> uh, I'll explain later, Kitaro. Why don't you and Taiga help Kieran get moved into your cabin first while I prepare the activity? Isn't this fun? I'm sure you all have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> and once you guys are finished unpacking, you can meet me at the campgrounds and we'll get started. Of course. Y yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go back to our cabin, guys. I'll help you carry your luggage, Kieran. Thank you. Ah, uh, thank you, Kitaro. Dismissed. See you boys later. Great, we have a new roommate. <laughs> What if they have a threesome? Wow. Honestly, it's not the worst idea I've had. Wow. Feels so nostalgic to be back in this cabin. It looks pretty full this term, though. Oh. Uh, oh, not really. It's only Tiger... Tiger. <laughs> well, Tiger would be an appropriate name for it. It's only Tiger, Edward, Lee, and I who stay here. The rest of the beds are available. Although, I guess it looks a bit full from our stuff. <laughs> yeah. I figured. I shared the same cabin with them last year, too, and I know just how messy they can get. Though it's a lot cleaner than I'd ex ever expect. Guess I owe that to you, huh? Well... <laughs> not really. We all share chores here. Hmm. Where Edward and Lee, though, I'm sure they'd be shocked to find out I'm back. Hmm. They were just here a while ago. They were actually the ones who told us you were here. Well... I'm guessing they're busy with the fundraiser now, too, huh? Yeah! Ah, uh, yeah. Almost all the campers have been getting up extra early for their activities lately. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to get to work, too. Oh. Oh, oh, speaking of, we should probably get you settled in. That bed over there is available. You can bunk in it if you want. Sure. Oh. Oh my god, you know what would be really juicy? If, like, Kedro starts to develop a thing for Kieran, that would be... That would be so fucking spicy. That would be so fucking spicy because then Taiga would be mad jealous and then it'd be kind of like the fight for Katero. <laughs> I, I actually don't think that's going to happen, but I, I think that would be a really cool angle. Because I feel like the most generic angle is to have like the threat of Kieran and Taiga reconnect to the point that they might become a couple again, which of course would threaten Katero's blossoming relationship with, with Taiga. So uh, yeah, but that's an angle. Oh, sure. That's my old spot, too. Right next to Taiga. Uh, Let me go get some fresh sheets. Yeah. <laughs> fresh bleh. Fresh sheets. I'm sure the ones on it now are dusty. Thanks. Thanks, Kitaro. I'll start unpacking. Hey. Hey. You haven't said a word since we got here, Taiga. Aren't you happy that I'm back? Well. Well, it's not that. I just wasn't expecting you to show up here today. Well... Seeing you yesterday was a surprise for me, too. It made me think a lot about whether or not I should come back here. I guess I should have told you first. Uh, anyway... As much as the cab looks the same, it seems really different from last year. I've only been here for a couple of minutes, and honestly, I didn't expect to see everything looking so peaceful and quiet. Kieran. Why are you really here? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Well... You know what I mean. We saw each other for the first time in a year yesterday, and suddenly you're joining Camp Buddy again? <sighs> I, I thought you meant what you said back then. Taiga. I, I know what I said before, but I've done a lot of thinking since then, Taiga, and I realized that I didn't want to leave things like that. Besides. I'm really over what happened last year, and it seems like you are too. Y yeah. I, I am. How about... I'm sure we can be good friends again like we used to be. If it's alright with you. If you're willing to give me a chance, that is. <sighs> it's not like I have a choice. You are already signed back up and all. Don't worry. I, I promise I won't cause trouble. And 
Don't you think it'll be fun hanging out again? I really miss spending time with you after all. Hello. I'm back, guys. I have the sheets now. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Um, am I interrupting something? No. Uh, uh no. Everything's fine, Kitaro. I was just catching up a little with Taiga. I see. Oh, I, I see. Kieran. You better finish unpacking your stuff, Kieran. Kiro and I will go meet up with Yoshi now. We don't want to keep him waiting there. Sure. Oh, sure. I'm just going to get changed before heading over. You guys can go ahead. All right. Come on, Kiro. Just leave the sheets there. Kieran can take care of it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks again, Kiro. All right. Sure. Well, see you there, Kieran. <sighs> Whew, I hope I'm doing the right thing here. Huh? Huh? Something's on Tyga's bed. Oh! This- oh god, no, no, this is gonna be an instigator. This is- Tyga. Tyga, you've been keeping it all this time? That's gonna send the wrong message! It's gonna send the wrong motherfucking message. It's gonna send the wrong motherfucking not... message. Ugh, this is all gonna blow up. Is this gonna be like the, the big final arc to overcome? Like- Taiga to kind of like come to a good place with Kieran and Kieran to come to a good place with Taiga and for Kiro and Taiga to cement the fact that they're not just friends they're not just fucking buddies they're clearly more than buddies okay like I said in that one video title more than a buddy all right are you all right are you all right Taiga y yeah y yeah I I'm fine well you've been pretty quiet and distant since Kieran arrived <sighs> <sighs> Sorry for acting so weird. It's just strange having him around. He seems like a nice guy. Do you have a problem with Kieran? You know what? Let's just let's just ask the question. Tyga. Do you have a problem with Kieran? Katero. Uh I don't want to talk about it. It's awkward, you know. Just forget about it. Alright. Oh. Uh, okay. I just hope we can get along and pr be productive today. But more importantly, I'm worried about you. Tyga. I don't mean to pry or put you on the spot, but I don't want to see you upset like yesterday. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I won't be a downer today. Like I said before, I'm just surprised is all. I'll get used to it. Oh. Ah, there you guys are. I was on my way to pick you up for our activity. Were you able to get Kieran settled in? Yeah. Yeah, he's just getting dressed. He'll catch up. Very good. Okay, great. I'm actually glad an old friend of yours is back, Taiga. Well... I mean, I can't blame him for not finishing the term after the whole mess last year. <sighs> you really... Really? Really? I can't. You are just socially inept. If I remember correctly, you two enrolled at the same time, too, so I feel bad that he was discouraged from returning this term. However... But nevertheless, I'm glad you're reunited again. Things just keep getting better here, huh? Hey... Hey, everyone. I'm ready. Wow, I'm impressed. Looking sharp, Kieran. Good to see your uniform still fits well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. I kept it with me. I blend right into the crowd. It's just like the old times, right, Taiga? Y yeah. All right. All right, since we're all here, I'll fill you guys in on what we're doing today. Remember those old cabins near the camp fence? They haven't been touched for a while now and are in very bad shape. As a matter of fact... We've kept them off limits since they've broken down for safety reasons. I'm planning on giving them a good overhaul so that they'll be ready for next year's new recruits. However... They all need a thorough cleaning, some wood repairs, and nice new furnishing too. Well... By the time you boys are done working with me, you'll be all expert carpenters. <laughs> I know it's a lot of work, but I don't think I'll be able to pull it off by myself, on top of going door-to-door -door Yoichi. Taiga. Taiga's always been great at crafts, so I thought this kind of activity would be right up you guys' alleys. What do you think? Sounds fun! That sounds great, Scoutmaster Yoshi. We promise to help out anyways. And besides, I think we can make this cleanup fun. That's the spirit! Excellent. I love the enthusiasm. Now, come along, boys. There's a lot of work in store for us, so the sooner we get started, the better. Yes, sir! <laughs> I love it. I make Yoshinori sound like an announcer sometimes. Like, you know, like, Oh, he's in the lead and he's about to take the lead! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I know you said the cabin was run down, but damn, this place is a wreck. Yeah. This place looks like it hasn't been used in years. Uh, I didn't even know that camp had cabins this old. <laughs> uh, I warned you boys that this was in rough shape. Sir? But, sir, how did it get like this? Well. <laughs> I love how someone wrote in the back, Frogs has rights. Girl. Well, 
As you all know, the camp has been declining the membership for years now, and with less campers, we've needed less cabins. As we've closed off the cabins, some of the more delinquent scouts from last year have taken to use them as hideouts. Furthermore, which explains all of this, uh, destruction and vandalism. What the actual fuck? This is gonna be a lot of work. Y yeah Yeah, but I think with all of us working together, we can handle it. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, Kieran. I'm glad you're looking at this so positively. You three will make a great team. Hmm. So, where do you want us to get started? Well... Well, before we can properly assess the damage to the structure, this place is going to need a thorough cleaning. All right. All right, just guide us, sir. Hmm. We should start by getting rid of all the debris and cobwebs. As soon as that's done, we can examine which parts need repairs. I prepared some cleaning materials for us here so we can use them. It should be enough to... Yoshinori. Ah, uh, Yoshinori. Sir. Oh, sir, do you need anything from me? Disappointing. I just received a complaint about one of your scouts. Um... Uh, Gluing a poster on someone's car? What? <sighs> oh, it must be Yoichi. I left him in charge of putting up posters today. Well... Well, luckily the person said that it's not a big deal, and he can easily remove the glue. But he was kind enough to let us know about it. I apologize I really that. apologize about this, sir. I'll go see Yoichi right away. All right. All right, thank you, Yoshinori. Wh what? You left no! Yoichi alone? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? This is my fault. I told him to stay close to the camp. I didn't think he'd find it anywhere risky to stick those papers. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like typical Yuichi. Campers. If you boys don't mind, I'll leave you here to complete this task while I handle him. Sure. Sure thing, sir. We'll have it all cleaned up by the time you get back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm counting on you to all get this one done today. I'll try to come back as soon as I can, but if you run into any problems, please let Yuri or Sir Goro know. They should both be here today. Yes, sir. All right. All right, I'll take my leave then. Good luck, boys. Hmm. Um, so where do we start? There's a lot to clean up. I know. Why don't we split the work so we can get things done faster? There's way too much crap on the floor, so I think that's a two-person job. Yeah. I can start sweeping if you want. No. Oh, let me pick up the bigger stuff for you, Katero. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go. Then I guess that leaves me with the cobwebs. Let's get moving then. Looks at Kieran. Oh, looks at Kieran and Katero. Katero? So, Katero, how did you and Taiga meet? Because I noticed that you two get along really well. Did you two become friends at the start of camp? Well. Oh, well, I just became friends with Taiga recently. Huh? Huh? I thought he would have gotten along with you right away. He was always the popular guy back then, you know. Everyone liked him. Really? Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's quite the charmer, but I guess not many people enrolled back after the sports fest event. Did you know about that? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard quite a few stories about it. I see. I'm not surprised. He was the talk of the town back then. He was even in the news. Um... Is that the reason why you decided to leave? Well... Well, it's actually more complicated than that. <sighs> Is everyone gonna be vague booking today? I'm just so... Y'all need to give me some fucking answers. I'm in the mood to start swinging today, honestly. I had these terrible ass fucking jellies before I recorded, and they are giving me serious indigestion right now, so I am in no mood. Also, I decided not to record sitting on that ugly ass, uncomfortable ass chair, and now my back, I'm like hunched over sitting recording this, and my back is already starting to give way. You know what I might do? I might just reorganize myself to make myself more comfortable, so give me a sec. Alright, I am back. I am now kind of sitting and lying down. I have my pillows against the wall. I feel a little bit more well supported. I actually feel way too comfortable. I could honestly fall asleep like this right now. Whatever. Falling asleep while recording would be something new for the channel. Um, did I actually save though? Let me just make sure I actually hit the save button. Did I? I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I actually did hit the save button. Oops. Whatever. You can see this laggy save screen one more time. Right. What do I want to pick? I see. Is there something else I should know? Can you tell me what happened? Yeah. Can you tell me what happened? Well... It's a personal issue. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's alright. It's alright. It's not your fault. I brought it up anyway. Uh... How has Taiga been doing, though? He seems like a completely different person now. 
well. Uh huh. Well. Hey. Hey. If you guys guys have time to chit chat, do it while cleaning up. Uh. Ah, uh, right. Sorry, Taiga. Hmm. The game's really gonna delay me on how this is gonna come. We continued to clean for the next hour, making the cabin as spotless as we could. I couldn't help but think about what Kieran said to me the whole time I was sweeping. What could have made him leave camp? Kateru, if you're any bit intelligent, you can put, you can put one on one together. Taiga! We're done over here, Taiga. Yeah. We cleared up most of the stuff on the floor, too. Okay. Great. I'm done dusting off the walls and ceilings as well. Let's work on the bathroom area next. I'm pretty sure that one will take the rest of our day. Uh... How about we take a little break first, Taiga? Yeah, that's right. I think Kieran is right. We've made a lot of progress so far, and it wouldn't hurt to rest some. Okay. I guess I could use a drink or two. Maybe. Maybe we should grab some lunch then? A cheeseburger sounds really good right now. Don't you think, Taiga? I know that's your favorite. Y yeah. Y yeah, but I'd rather chill here for now. I know. Oh, I can get them for us. You guys can stay here while I get some food and drinks. Katero. Uh, Katero, you don't have to. Bye. I'll be right back. Lovely. I was hoping we get these two alone. Uh. Guess let's just wait for them then. Sure. Sure thing, Taiga. Mm-hmm. This is really nice. So are y'all fucking... That's what we want to know. That's the tea we want spill. <laughs> I can just imagine myself, like, barging through that, like, back wood panel. Just, like, bursting through it like the Kool-Aid man. Just being like, <laughs> so are y'all fucking... This is really nice, isn't it, Taiga? What? Huh? Getting all sweaty and covered in dust is nice? That's not what I meant. I... <laughs> meant doing activities with you again. It feels like just yesterday we were getting to camp for the first time. Well... It was rare for us to do things together like this, so it was always fun whenever we got the chance to. Come on, admit it. You missed it too, right? Of course. Uh, I guess. Uh... I know I said it before, but even though the camp is having trouble and there's less staff, things still seem better than they were last year. Anyway. Well, pretty much all the troublemakers are gone now, and Yoshi's been doing his best to keep everyone getting along with activities. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell from meeting you guys yesterday. You and Katero both seem so passionate about Camp Buddy that I couldn't help but volunteer. It really surprised me to see how much you've changed, Taiga. I can't help but think. It made me think that maybe I can get a second chance, too. <sighs> okay, Kieran, I, I'm a little bit confused by you. Can we just be honest to you? I... Are y'all a little bit mixed by him, too? Because I feel like I'm getting two different signals. Does he want a general redemption, or does he want a redemption just with Taiga? That's the part where I need clarification on, because I'm getting this distinct impression that he really just wants to get in back in the good graces of Taiga. I don't think he gives a shit about anyone else. Like, I'm sure he cares about the camp to some degree, yeah, but clearly his priority is with Taiga. That's just my two cents, okay? Game, prove me wrong if you want. After everything from last year, I was too scared to enroll again. Of course. I get it. I felt the same way before, too. But? But unlike you, I didn't even try to make up for anything. You reminded me a lot of the things I regret doing. Especially when I think of you, Taiga. I... I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for talking about that. All I'm trying to say is that everything feels better here at camp now, and I just feel like I missed out on a lot of the good stuff. Anyway. Well, it's not like everything went well the whole time. There were some ugly things that happened, too. I was one of the troublemakers when I came back this year, but things changed a lot when I met Katero. Huh? Oh? Actually. He and I had a really rough start, but we worked through all of it, so I really owe him a lot. I see. Anyway, did anything else interesting happen this term? What do you mean? Hmm, believe it or not, we actually had another sports fest this year. No riots this time, thankfully. 
Instead of a first place prize, the Scoutmasters took everyone to the beach for a vacation. This is really nice. Oh, so it's kind of like everyone wins. Yeah. Yeah, Yoshi sure learned his lesson. <sighs> Too bad I missed the beach trip, though. I've always wanted to go there. I'm the best. Yeah, I figured you'd be jealous. The place looked amazing. Taiga! Oh, come on, Taiga. Now you're just teasing me. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is... The real bummer is I didn't get to see you in a swimsuit. Oh no, Kato, you have to hear this? <laughs> it's no big deal. Huh? Are you sure? As far as I remember, it is a big deal. Isn't he like five and a half inches according to um, Lee? That's not really that big. Okay, if you want to, if you want to be a size queen, that ain't that big, right? Y'all need to be taking eight inches up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran. Oh, shut up, Kieran. <laughs> Kieran and Taiga seem to be warming up to each other a little more now, especially when they reminisce about the past together. I guess I have nothing to worry about after all. Katero! Oh, you're back, Katero. How long have you been standing there? Uh. I, I just came in. I have our snacks and drinks here. Awesome! Sweet, you got soda. You really know what I like, huh? Uh, oh, this hits the spot. Some things never change. You still love junk food way too much, Taiga. I guess some things don't change. <laughs> hey! Hey, don't pretend that you don't too. You're the reason I got hooked on it. But... But it always helped calm you down from hangry spells, remember? Wow! Wow, Kieran, it seems like you really know how to handle Taiga. Well... Ah, well, it's just a matter of getting used to him. He is pretty easy to read, after all. Come on! Hey, enough talking. Let's finish our lunch before it gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not just excited for your burgers, Taiga? <laughs> That's not even a question. But seriously, we gotta go back to work soon. We still have the whole bathroom to clean up. Alright. Alright, let's eat then. So basically, y'all were fucking. Y'all were fucking. Y'all fucked. That's the tea that's being poured into my mouth right now. So you better change the ingredients, Mama, or that's that's the tea I'm I'm serving to everyone else too. As soon as we finished our lunch, we went straight to work scrubbing the bathroom clean. Taiga and Kieran continued to chat casually about what happened so far this camp term, as well as bring up old memories with each other. Eventually, we finished the entire cabin cleanup and decided to call it a day. Oh, it is so much nicer recording lying down like this. My downside is this t-shirt is like about to fucking choke me out. Whew, that was really exhausting. And I know it's probably a little weird for Kieran and Kiro to have such similar voices, but I don't know. I feel it's kind of appropriate because I, in many ways, when I first started reading the journal, I, I always felt like Kieran was this kind of pseudo Kiro character and Taiga himself was kind of like Kiro before. So they're both kind of like echoes of Kiro. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it'll be easier to work in next time now that all the debris and dust is gone. Hello. Oh, I made it back before you guys left. Oh. Oh, welcome back, Scoutmaster Yoshi. H How? What happened? You look like you ran a marathon or something. Well. Well, I might as well have. I went all around town looking for Yuichi and ended up cleaning up his mess along the way. Furthermore. I had to apologize to two property owners got hit with a cane by a very angry lady, and I even begged local police to forgive Yoichi for all the unintentional vandalism. Oh no. Oh no, I hope he didn't get in too much trouble. Actually... I'm still surprised you didn't expect him to cause some kind of trouble. <sighs> <sighs> it was very irresponsible of me, I know, but I honestly thought he understood all of my instructions. He was perfectly well behaved yesterday when we were doing the simulations. However... I might end up giving him a different task at this rate. Maybe? Maybe Yoichi just needs you watching over him, sir. Yeah. He's definitely part dog, I swear. If that's the case... Well, in any case, it looks like you guys made significant progress with the cabin. I'm proud of you all for handling it without supervision. I apologize about I that. I do apologize for not being able to join the cleaning. Yoichi's circumstances really caught me off guard. I promise I'll make it up to you guys tomorrow. Don't worry. It's not a big deal, Scam Master Yoshi. You got your hands full. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, why did you all call it a day? I'll take it from here and put away the equipment. Okay. My arms are feeling a little bit sore now. I wouldn't say no to some rest. <laughs> <laughs> you three deserve it. Let's meet up again tomorrow, then. Yes, sir. 
Guys, I have a bad feeling now. Remember earlier when I said uh. I had a feeling that wasn't good or bad? Now it's just going to a bad feeling. Ugh. It's nice to be back here after such a long day. That is that is that that has been my mood every time I've gotten home today. Well, not today, just the whole week. Guys, I got caught in like five different hailstorms. Well, really, let's clarify. I got caught in three hailstorms, and then the other two were more like rain that occasionally turned into hail, but basically, the weather said, fuck my ass, and I got fucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You said it. It's been a while since I worked out like that. I feel like I just want to pass out. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know about you guys, but I'm hitting the shower. We're all covered in sweat and dirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. Let me join you. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting a back scrub today. Oh. Oh, can I join you guys too? Hear it. Just so you know, the shower cubicles are broken right now. I remember you don't like showering in front of other people. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I totally get that, Kieran. I was pretty shy the first time I took a shower with my cabin mates, too. Don't worry. Well, don't worry about me. It's no big deal. What do you mean? Are you sure? You don't have to, you know. It's fine. No, it's fine. I really want to. Besides, if we all take a shower together, we can all go get dinner at the same time, too. Okay. Guess you have a point. Come on, then. I can't stand being all sticky and dirty. Is this about to be like a group shower scene? <sighs> oh god. Ugh, this is so nice. A hot shower after a hard day at work is the best. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Looks like you're not embarrassed. Huh? Oh, come on, breathing. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, I know. This, this voice acting is really starting to catch up on me. Looks like you're not embarrassed taking a group shower after all, Kieran. Uh, oh. Oh, trust me, I am, Kiro. I've never done this before, not even with Taiga. I'm the best. <laughs> you should have seen Kiro when we first took a shower together. Taiga! Well. Well, I wouldn't blame Kiro for getting distracted. This is. I bet you they're. Did the fan base, like, imagine these three having a threesome? Because I would not blame them. There is definitely a little bit of, like,. Let's share the pizza going on. Your bot is still looking as good as ever, Taiga. Hey. Hey, come on, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I just noticed your muscles are as well defined as I remember. What do you mean? What about you, though? You've definitely slimmed down from last year. Have you stopped working out? Wait, are you talking about Kieran? Girl, look at Kieran's body. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the past year hasn't really been the best time of my life. I guess I haven't been eating and sleeping as much as I should. So. Okay, yes, I have no doubt that that has been your life, but like this body does not does not match this story. <laughs> I need to take better care of myself from now on. <laughs> yeah. You should. You look better with a healthy body anyway. Um. No comment. Don't worry. Don't worry though. We're doing physical labor all week, so I'll be toning my muscles again in no time. You better watch out, cause then I'll have a better bod than you. Really? Oh, yeah. Duh. Oh, God. Ah, that's cold. Where did you even get that bucket from? You know I don't like getting shocked like that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's not fair. Well, two can play that game. <laughs> you two are just making me use the damn sensor bar, aren't you? <laughs> now you know how it feels. <laughs> Kieran. Oh, fuck you, Kieran. Tiger. Uh, stop, Tiger. That tickles. I give up. You win. Wow, they sure are friendly with each other. As much as I want to join their conversation, I can't keep up with them. Oh, well, I'm sure they had a lot to catch up on. I'm just glad Tiger doesn't look bothered anymore. Katero? Hey, Katero, why are you just standing over there? Come on, join us and wash up already. All right. Uh, uh right? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. This is not going in the direction I want it to! This is not. No, oh. oh, I got really touchy in there. I tried so hard not to look at Taiga, or else Kieran would have seen something embarrassing. Uh. Whew. Ugh, that was nice. See, I don't know what y'all on about. Look at Kieran right now. The body's a 10 out of 10. Y'all fucking man. Oh, hey, Kieran. Is Taiga still in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was just getting dressed. 
You ran off as soon as you got washed, though. Well... Ah, well, I... <laughs> I couldn't stay in there any longer, either. The heater was too much for me. Oh! Oh, Kieran, I just noticed something. What? Yeah? Um... The bracelet on your wrist. Oh! Oh, this? It's something I got from last year. I've been wearing it since then. I only really ever take it off when taking a bath. I wouldn't want it to get ruined. Kieran's bracelet must be the pair to the one I found in Taiga's stuff the other day. Oh my god, are you about to start shit, Kidro? Wait a minute, am I about to stand? I'm about to fucking stand. My paws are fucking up right now, and they're not coming down. Alright. Did Scoutmaster Yoshi give it to you by chance? I actually own one too. You know Taiga owns something like that too. Um. Oh! Oh, did Scoutmaster Yoshi give it to you? Yeah. Yeah, he gave it to me during an activity last year. Well... It's actually really special to me. Taiga and I earned it together. I'm surprised you knew that, though. Did Taiga tell you about it? Uh... Um... No, it's actually because Scoutmaster Yoshi gave me one, too. Really? Oh, really? Who is yours paired with... Hey there. Hey, I'm all set. What you guys doing? What? Your boat's still not dressed? No! Uh, oh, I was just talking with Kieno some. What's going on? Don't tell me you two are gossiping, or I'll have to smack you both. No, I mean... Yeah, it's nothing, really. By the way, Taiga, why are you packing your uniform? Yeah, right. We're going out for dinner, duh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that. Let's go! I'm freaking starving. You guys must be hungry too, right? Well... well there's Kieran's answer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I barely ate anything today. Yeah. Yeah, you only had a few bites of the lunch Kiro brought. Eh? Uh, you mean you did all that work with us on an empty stomach, Kieran? Kinda. Kinda. I didn't mean to make you guys worry. I've just been so anxious since yesterday that I didn't have an appetite. What the actual fuck? Ugh, you need to eat, Kieran. No wonder you're so skinny. Okay, you know what? I'm not really being rubbed the right way by these, like, comments on his body. Am I the only one? I'm not, let me not try and let serve oversensitive or anything like that, but... I didn't mean to. I know, I just forget sometimes is all. Well, I think what really appeases me is that it makes me think of that time during Sayu Danshi when, um, Hato was being really fucking rude about Shiba and his body and his eating habits. That shit was driving me insane. I think about it and I still get mad. I still get mad. Let's go! Go put some clothes on. We need to get something in your stomach. Of course. Uh, uh, of course, hold on. <sighs> uh, sorry about Kieran, Kiro. I didn't think I'd have to watch over him like this. <laughs> Don't apologize, Taiga. Didn't you tell me before not to say sorry for everything? <laughs> I blame you. Your cheesiness is contagious. It's alright. <laughs> Don't worry, I really don't mind having Kieran around. It's nice hanging out with one of your old friends. Of course. Right. Taiga! I'm ready, Taiga! Katero. What about you, Katero? You're not going to the mess hall butt naked like that, are you? Oh! Oh, you guys can go ahead. I'm still drying my hair out. Don't worry, I'll catch up. Don't ask me! Are you sure? We can wait. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys can. I'll be right behind you, though. Just save me a spot. Is Kanero trying to read more of Taiga's journal? Bitch. Alright. Alright, see you at the mess hall then. Alright. Alright, I should probably get dressed. Hmm. Taiga and Kieran are really getting along really well, even though it's their first day together. I know it's a good thing, but I can't help but feel a little left out. Are you also maybe a little jealous? Kanero, you can tell me, girl. Um... It's still kind of weird. If Kieran was this friendly, I wonder why Taiga was so bothered meeting him again. All this time, I thought Kieran was someone that Taiga wasn't on good terms with. Uh -uh. <sighs> I really want to ask Taiga about it, but I don't want to snoop and bring that up out of nowhere. Especially now that he's just started to loosen up around Kieran. Oh. Speaking of Kieran, that reminds me of what I saw him on earlier. That bracelet. Mm. Kieran seems to treasure it, and Taiga kept his with him all this time. As much as he seemed like he hated the idea now, every little thing I learned just seems to give me more questions. Um... I want to understand why Taiga was so upset with Kieran in the first place. Even though I know some of Taiga's past, there's definitely something between the two of them that I still haven't found out. I know! 
I'll have to read his journal again. Right now might be the only chance I get. Oh, here we go. Attention, Scouts! Today we're excited to announce the first ever Camp Buddy Sports Fest. Campers will join teams of five and compete in various athletic events, and the winning team will receive a special prize, a trip to the amusement park. Our camp president, as well as plenty of visitors, will be here to watch, so let's all do our best and have a great time. Now please pick your teams and get changed into your PE gear right away. Hey you two, wanna be on our team? We still need a couple more members. Oh, I'd love to, Taiga. What about you, Yoichi? Whatever. Not like I can get out of this activity anyway. Alright, with Ed and Lee, that makes a full... Hey, Taiga, sorry I'm late. I just heard about the activity. Ugh. So, who do we want to add to our team? Actually, Kieran, I'm already on a team, and we're full. You're kidding, right? N no, sorry, but maybe you can join one of the other... You've got to be fucking kidding me. You're seriously going to do this again? Kieran, not here. Come with me. What the hell, Kieran? Are you seriously trying to make a scene in front of everyone? How is this my fault? You're the one who abandoned me again! Oh, wow. Also, why is there no image loading? Seriously? It's just a freaking activity. Why is it such a big deal to you? Ever since we came to this camp, we've completely stopped spending time together. I invited you here to spend a great summer with you, not for you to cast me aside. You're acting like it's the end of the fucking world, Kieran. What's wrong with me trying to make new friends? You're the one who's being selfish, trying to keep me to yourself. What? You know that's not fair, Taiga. All I'm asking for is a little bit of time together. It's like you're not even my boyfriend at all! Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh my god. I can't believe it. Taika and Kieran. They were together back then? Hmm. Is that why Taika seemed to be so awkward around Kieran the first time they met? Now that I think about it. The way Kieran acted around Taiga, as well as the things he said. He makes it sound like things didn't end well with them. And if they did, then why would he be back here now? Maybe. I really don't know what to feel right now. Maybe I shouldn't have read this. But why would Taiga hide something like this from me? Keitaro! Hey, Keitaro! Huh? Huh? Kieran! What are you doing back here? Well... Well, Taiga felt really bad that we went without you, so I told him I'd come get you while he stands in line. Oh! Uh, oh! Um... Um... Is everything okay here? Yeah. Y yeah! I I'm... I'm good. I, I was just about to catch up with you guys. What's going on? Wait. That book in your hand. Uh... Uh... I was just tidying the place up a little before going out. <laughs> you know how messy Tiger's bed can get. I see. Oh. I see. Well, I was just as surprised that he's still carrying that old thing. Um... You know about this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's always kept that journal. He was always really picky about anyone touching it, though. I remember him yelling at me for getting near it one time. <laughs> you might want to put it back where it was. I'm sure he would notice if it moved. Yeah, that's right. Right. Anyway. Anyway, like I was saying, the line's not too long, so Tiger will be done there soon. We should go and catch up with him. All right. Uh, oh, sure thing. I'm pretty much done here anyways. That was too close. Kieran saw me with the journal. It didn't seem like he thought I was reading it, though. 
but that stuff I just read. I can't believe Kieran and Tyga were a couple. No wonder he never mentioned him. The journal makes it sound like the relationship wasn't going well, so I have to wonder. How did they end up where they are now? Guys, I am not- my heart can't take this. This is just too fucking hey. much. This is just too fucking much. Hey, you two, I'm over here. Hey, I probably Darrell. should stop recording, but I'm just too invested. I don't care. Another hour and a half long video, here we fucking go. <laughs> Jeez. What took you so long, Kieran? Oh, sorry, Katero. I had to send Kieran to fetch you because I thought you passed out back in the cabin and ditched us here or something. Uh... Ah, I just cleaned up the room a little as usual. So basically, these two joined Camp Buddy as a couple and then broke up through the camp? Oh. That's real fucking awkward. That's real fucking awkward. Oh my god. So I was I was right, by the way. Kieran is basically coming here with his prerogative as getting back with Taiga, right? Am I right? I'm right. Right? <laughs> so the camp is really just a secondary focus of his. Well. Well, you guys are going to get in line with me now. Can't carry all these trays by myself. Wow. I've never seen the mess hall this full during dinner time. Everyone probably just got back from their activities. I see. Oh, I see. Should I save us a table then? Don't worry. Don't sweat it. We're all gonna share a table with the others. Huh? Others? Oh! Oh, Taiga means our friends, Kieran. What do you mean? Huh, now that I think about it, we haven't introduced you to them yet. I just became friends with them recently, though. You've met some of them before. Actually... Edward, Lee, Yoichi, and Atsumi are still here. I'm sure you remember them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kiro mentioned Edward and Lee to me, and I heard about Yoichi from Scout Master Yoshi earlier. I'm not too surprised Natsumi is still here, too. He was the model scout back then, after all. What do you mean? Aside from them, there's a couple of friends here that are new this term, too. I guess it's best for you to meet them instead of me telling you. Sure. Sure, I hope they like me. Are you okay? You're fine. I'm sure it'll be a walk in the park with you. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but our food's ready. Alright. Alright, let's move to our table. Hey oh my there. god, so many fucking characters. Lord help my voice. Hey everyone. Yoo-hoo! Oh, hi! We've been waiting for you guys. Huh? Huh? Who's that with you, Katero? I haven't seen him before. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. I recognize him. Yeah! Yeah, isn't that that guy from last year? Curry Pan or something? Oh my god. OMG, it's Kieran! You muscled meathead. How I've missed that drink of tall, dark, and handsome. Huh? You guys all know him? Indeed. Indeed. Kieran was our cabin mate during last year's term. It is good to see you again, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you guys, too. And to you new to, hello. My name is Kieran Moreno. I was at Camp Buddy last year, and now I'm back as a volunteer. Cool. Oh, wow, that's cool. I'm Hiro Akiba. I enrolled here at my best friend, Katero. Hey. Ah, nice to meet you, Hero. It's funny, Taiga, and I came here the same way, too. Hello. I'm Hunter. It's my first year here as well. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Hunter. It seems like you came <laughs> at a great year. Camp Buddy is way livelier than it ever was. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can say that again, eye bags. Last year was a shit show. Huh? Eye bags? Oh. Oh, I don't apologize. mind Yoichi Kieran. He loves giving nicknames to people. Yeah, yeah, but only if he's being friendly. Look how tame you've gotten, wolf boy. Yeah. Uh, don't make me kick your ass, torch head. Now, 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 Yoichi. Don't make a fuss right now. You've already caused enough trouble today. <laughs> hmm. So, what are you volunteering for, Kieran? Well. Oh, I'm here helping with the fundraiser. Taiga and Katero here were nice enough to let me join in on their activity. Aww. Aw, of course they were. They're both sweethearts, after all. Um... Hmm, I am perplexed. As of yesterday, Kiro and Taiga did not have an activity to partake in. Ah! Uh, we just started on one today. Scoutmaster Yoshi put us in charge of cleaning and repairing the old cabins. Oh, really? Really? It's been forever since I've been in one of those. There must be a lot to do in them. Yeah. Yeah, we spent all day. Ooh. Ugh, seems like Kieran is getting along really well with everyone so far. Oh no, Katero, are you going to feel self-conscious? Are you going to feel self-conscious that he's not only going to take your place with Taiga, but he's going to take your place with everyone? Oh, bless. Are you okay? Uh, 
Kiro, are you all right? Okay, I feel a little bit bad now because I feel like for a long time I've been saying I want to see Kiro snap. Like I want to see Kiro be sad. I don't want to be him so upbeat and happy the whole time. And now that it's happening, I feel like shit. <laughs> okay, I feel like shit. Yeah. Uh, yes, I, I am. What were you saying? Oh, I was just saying it's good to see Kiro making new friends. Yeah. Yeah. He seems like he's a natural at it. Well... He wasn't always like this, but I guess he's changed too. Hey. Hey, are you sure you're... Hey! Huh? Guys, I just can't stop playing this game. <laughs> We're having a 24-hour video. <laughs> Can you imagine rendering that? My laptop would explode. My YouTube career, air quotes, would end. Wow. We're making it happen, to be honest. I don't care. I'm not doing jack fucking shit tonight. My YouTube can blow up. My, my YouTube can blow up, yeah. YouTube will probably probably try and strike me down, but, you know, they always do this, this, this shit. What are you two whispering about over there? It's annoying as hell. Yeah. Yeah, Kieran's having to tell us about you guys' activity all by himself. Well. Well, I'd hate to change the topic out of nowhere, but if you guys are looking for an exciting, fabulous story, you just have to hear about Blondie and my day today. <sighs> uh, you know, here we go again. Everyone enjoyed telling stories about their different fundraising activities while we finished our dinner. It seems like everyone likes Kirin so far. I was a little quiet the whole night, since I couldn't get what I read in Taiga's journal off my mind. Neither can I, bitch. I'm fucking shaking. Eventually, we all got tired and headed back to our cabins to sleep. The reason I can't stop recording right now is because I know the second I hit stop, I'm just going to be thinking about this all day long. All day long. It's going to consume my thoughts. I'll be like making scrambled egg in the kitchen, I'll be like, what's gonna happen with Kero and Taiga? You know, that's where my head's gonna be. I don't care, we're recording forever. <laughs> Week-long video on YouTube, here we come. <laughs> it seems like everyone is still asleep. Although, in all honesty, if this video does, if this recording session does go on a really, really, really long time, I will just split it in two, because I don't think I could render, like, a two-hour long video, for instance. That would just be insane. Uh, when I did the original Dramatical Murder, I actually recorded for a really long time one day. I think, like, over two hours. And I just broke that up into separate videos. I might just do that here. So, I always like to have outros for, for my videos, but you know what? This, this is an exception to the rule. I really don't care. I'm basically going to record until my voice dies. That's my plan. Meanwhile, I barely got any sleep. I'm still thinking about what I found out about Taika and Kirin. Now that I know they were a couple, a lot of things make sense. Especially the way they acted around each other. But at the same time, there are just many things that don't make sense either. If they're really no longer together, then why is Taiga getting closer to Kirin again? Haven't they moved on already? I love how I said booth instead of both. No matter how hard I try to put it all together, I can't tell what's going on with them now. It's called jealousy. But also, I think your concern is valid. <laughs> oh, I need to snap out of it. If I let myself think about this all day, Tiger might realize I'm acting fishy. I can't let him find out I've been reading his journal secretly. For now, I'll just have to keep a close eye on him and Kieran. Good morning. Ugh. Morning, Kidro. Oh. Uh oh, good morning, Kieran. I just woke up too. How did you sleep? <laughs> Pretty good. This is my first time getting a solid eight hours in a while. <laughs> huh? Oh! Have you been having trouble sleeping? Yeah. Yeah. So it's no wonder Yoichi calls me eye bags. I'm gonna try and start fixing my sleeping habits, though. Speaking of fixing, I heard from Taiga yesterday that you really helped him out this year. Uh... uh I didn't do that much, really. Oh! Sounds like he really needs someone like you around. I'm glad you took care of him when I couldn't. Yeah. Right. Anyway. So anyway, on a less serious note, I noticed you had a camera with you last night. Are you into photography? Well... Ah, yeah. I like to take pictures for fun. The Scoutmasters even let me use it here at camp. Wow. Wow, that's cool. I'd love to look at what you've taken so far, though. Actually... I actually keep them all in my photo album here, but special ones I paste in my journal. Hmm. You have a journal, too? Yeah. Yeah, Miss Yuri gave it to me as a welcome gift before. <laughs> Man, you and Taiga sure do have a lot in common. No wonder he was talking about you so much last night. You guys seem as close as we were back then. Oh my god, this is like mental manipul- Honestly, Kidro's about to have a psychotic break. Hmm. I'm curious though. 
does he ever mention me? I, I think he mentioned you like twice. Well, well, and and to be honest, he never directly mentioned you by name. Like other people would like prompt Taika to bring you up. So, well, honestly, n no. Uh, oh. Oh, I, I figured that would be the case. Either way, I'm a little surprised that Taika hasn't told you much. Hmm. He has. He just doesn't like to bring up last year much. But I don't mind. I'd rather not force him to tell me things he isn't ready to talk about. H how? Uh, that's new. You're usually not up this early, Kitaro. Good morning. Good morning, Taiga. I think it's because I went to bed early last night. <laughs> Kieran? What about you, Kieran? Shouldn't you be getting more sleep? Yeah. I'm good. I was just telling Kitaro that I got way more hours than usual, and I plan on keeping that up. Okay. Good. If you can do that and not skip meals too, then you'll be fit again in no time. Don't worry. <laughs> you two don't have to worry that much about me, really. Speaking of food, though, should we get dressed and get some breakfast before our activity? I was thinking the same thing. Let's go! Yeah, let's go. I'm sure Scoutmaster Yoshi has a lot planned for us today. I really want a cutscene where we get to hear Kieran's voice, like, say full lines. This is such a mess, because I feel like... Kieran's trying to suss out if he can, if like Taiga still cares about him in romantically, and then Kateros kind of freaked out because they were a thing, and then they could potentially get back together again, and it's just oh my god the drama the drama. I'm kind of living though I can't lie. Hey, hey, why are you staring at me like that for Kieran? I'm not sharing these burgers if that's what you're thinking. It's not that. <laughs> no, that's not it. I've just always wondered, Taiga. How do you eat so much junk food and never gain any weight? Well... I never really stop moving around and working out, you know. I see. Well, that makes sense. Those abs have to come from something. Would you just shut up and eat your breakfast? I didn't ask Aiden to whip up that adobo for you to let it get cold. What the hell is that? I don't know. Me and my Anglo-Saxon mouth don't know what to say when we read words I don't know. That's clearly some kind of dish or meal. <laughs> Oh yeah, you don't know how much I miss Sir Aiden's cooking. And I'm a bit surprised you still remember my favorite food too. Okay. How could I forget? That's what you always ordered from Jolly Bug. <laughs> Kieran and Tiger are laughing and teasing each other so naturally. This must have been what it was like when they were together. No, Kato, you can't think like that. You gotta keep it together, girl. You gotta stay strong. It's like I'm seeing a whole new side of Taiga. Maybe I knew a lot less about him than I thought. Oh no, you're doubting yourself, girl. You're doubting. It's over. It's over for Katero. Katero. Hey, Katero. What? Uh, oh, what? What do you mean? Why aren't you touching your food? Uh. I just don't feel that hungry today. Are you okay? Y you okay? You're not feeling sick, are you? Maybe. No, I I'm fine. Maybe I'm just feeling full from last night. Well. We're gonna work a lot later, but. If you're not up to it, I can tell Scoutmaster Yoshi you're going to skip it today. All right. Yeah, Kitaro. You don't have to force yourself to work if you're not feeling well. It's all right. Really, guys, I'm all right. I'm ready to get started on our activity again today. What do you mean? If you're sure, you'd better eat more. You're going to need a lot more of... You're going to need a lot of energy for today. All right. Right. I want Kitaro to snap. I want him to let it all out at once. I want him to scream from the rooftops and go so, like Super Saiyan or some shit. I quickly ate my breakfast to make sure Taiga didn't worry. It's still so hard to process everything, but I have to put it aside for now. I can't lose focus on the fundraiser. Maybe you will lose focus though, bitch. Hello. You're going insane. Oh, hello, boys. Good morning. Good morning, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> Girl, stop. That's right. Yeah, I took the truck into town and brought some early this morning. Sorry, bought, not brought. I figured to make it up to you guys yesterday, I would get a head start for our activity. Uh, oh, what about Yoichi, sir? As a matter of fact, Don't worry about him. Sir Goro offered to tag along to make sure there's not a repeat of what happened yesterday. I'll be focusing on you boys now. Uh, what are we going to work on today, sir? Very good. Good to hear that you boys are eager. We actually still have a few more things to clean up before repairs. I'm sure you all noticed the vandalism on the wall, so we're going to work on removing all of them. Oh. Oh. What are the piles of wood for, then? What do you mean? They're probably for the repairs. That's right. That's very observant of you, Taiga. Yes, they are. They're quite ready for us. 
They're not quite ready for us yet, though. I still need to cut them into their proper sizes. Anyway, anyway, I tried cleaning the walls with water and soap a while ago, but that didn't work. We might have to use a stronger cleaning agent for them. Furthermore, Natsumi cleaned up some decreti on the fence last year, so I might have an- or sorry, he might have an idea of how to remove them. I want to ask you guys to get the clean solution from him while I work on the wood. In addition, Aiden dug up the old bed frame plans for me from the camp records, but I wasn't able to grab them from him this morning. I appreciate it. But if you boys could get those two items, it would be a great help. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll be happy to. Hmm. Do we really need three people to get this stuff? If you want, I can stay here and help you with the woodwork. That's a great idea. Hmm. Good idea, Taiga. That will help me finish faster. All right. All right, you can leave the errands to Kato and I, sir. Very good. Great. See you boys later. Oh my god. All right. So, as much as I would love to continue, I am going to stop right now. Let's save. Let's compare save times. Oh my god. I don't know how long I've been recording for, but I'm getting the distinct impression this has been a long-ass fucking video. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. This was great. This was so fucking juicy, and I love the, the dynamic. I'm just ready. Every twist and turn feels like there could be more drama, and I'm expecting Kato to have some type of spiritual breakthrough soon <laughs> and i i can't wait to see it i can't wait to see it so yeah guys i'm really into this i can't wait to record again already so yeah thanks to anyone who watched as per usual and hopefully i'll see you again in another video